briefly describe your Sunday morning? Um, on Sunday morning, we used to go to the church and we usually were going to the local ones and there wasn't any problem with attending the masses. What's the good and the bad things about living in the UK? It's um, very diverse. It's more colourful comparing with uh, communists. Uh, it's uh, got lots of people with different cultures, different languages, different um, religions. Uh, it's uh, very, very different economically. You've got very rich people and you've got very poor people. In communist countries, uh, people were more or less on the same level, neither very poor, neither very rich. In a communist country, everybody was working, everybody got a job, and there were no beggars on the street. And I think this is the, the first impression. As well, there is a big difference with the architecture. In communist, it was uh, like a grey, boring uh, buildings, apart from a few, you know, nice uh, houses. In UK, you got, you know, a range of all different kinds of architecture buildings, which, which you can diverse, like very beautiful, big palaces, and uh, as well, you got uh, places where are. Uh, uh, for the very poor people living in a very bad conditions, which are completely, uh, you know, unacceptable. Did everyone have a specific job? Equal pay for different job? Everybody got a job. I never met anybody who were unemployed. But the um, salaries were not so diverse as in UK. Uh, maybe it was like a three levels of salaries uh, and they were, let's say, somebody was earning a thousand, another person two thousand and three thousand. But there wasn't any cases like uh, somebody was working ten times more or one hundred times more. So um, it was re regulated by a government. The salaries also, as well were um, straight away arranged through the government and they were enough to survive for the basic things, to pay for the bills and for pay for the food and, and for transport.